bowing and tossing coins, hoping the gods will hear their prayers. On the first business day of the new year, thousands thronged the 1,300-year-old Kanda Myojin Shrine, where three major gods, including two deities of fortune and wealth, are enshrined. Many company employees come in groups. The mood is a lot more upbeat this year as large parts of the world gradually move past the pandemic. Some are here hoping the gods will help them secure new business brought about by the reopening of international borders. Amid that optimism, the Japanese government recently upgraded its economic growth forecast. The Kishida government predicts Japan's GDP will grow 1.5% in financial year 2023 or reach 558.5 trillion yen, about 4.3 trillion U.S. dollars. It's spurred by higher wages, strong domestic demand, and a robust corporate investment. But 2023 may still be yet another tough year for Japan's gods of fortune. Risk is definitely downside because the uh, external headwinds from the U.S. and Europe is probably larger than government is now anticipating. Household saving rate is still quite high, meaning that their level of spending, level of consumption is compared to their disposal income is still much, much lower than the level before the pandemic. According to Mr. Adachi, Japan's economic outlook may not improve much unless it can stem the trends of a fast-shrinking population, low productivity, and stalled structural reform. Japanese are also not spending enough to lift the economy out of the doldrums. Economic concerns aside, fears of COVID-19 have not completely gone away, especially for those with aging parents. Michio Ishida, CNA, Tokyo.